this was a bit of tongue in cheek, a bit of verbose by by a couple of young fellas. There's no way it, there was, you, you know, anything they said was intentional. It was a laugh. That is no joke. I think it's dreadful, Adrian. I can't believe that man is saying a bit of banter. That'll just tell you the way his mind is. And I tell you, I am not impressed by what the police said. No way. I think it's dreadful. And I think it will put women off going near them. They wouldn't have to have the tax money as, as high if they weren't paying all the social welfare out to the likes of the foreigners and the blacks. If you look at all the Baptist churches around the country, the preacher is telling them on how to claim and what to claim for. Here's another one of these stories. Yeah, uh, another urban myth. Yeah, where did you hear this story? I heard it. Sean, cop on to yourself. Some Baptist minister is getting up in church and he's telling them how to claim this, that and the other. If they four kids now, the blacks, they get the house. Uh, Sean, I'm going to end this conversation now because I absolutely despise people like you who define somebody by the colour of their skin. Now get off the phone, you f***. I'm sorry, that really annoys me. My son, when I came home from work after doing shift work, he told me that there was another man in, in the bed beside Bammy the previous night. I don't believe you. Yes. So as a result of that, now I won't, I won't trust any woman. She eventually admitted that it was going on for nearly six years behind my back. Nearly six years? Yeah, we were 12 years together. And why didn't she just leave you? Why didn't she just tell you? I was the main breadwinner. I was bringing in very, very good money. And she didn't have to work. We had two cars. We had a lovely house. We had everything. And I was walking my arse off for it. Meanwhile, she was playing away behind your back. Yeah. You found out that the child you thought was your child wasn't your child. We're going for DNA testing on that one because basically what happened was I'm with the missus 15 years. So I do shift work. I start work every night at 9 o'clock. So it turns out that she's been having an affair for the last three years. So there's a possibility my son wasn't mine, she said. So I turned, walked out the door and I haven't gone back. If, God forbid, you found out that he wasn't your biological child, would that change your relationship with him? She destroyed my relationship for the time being with him. I would still be there from, in a sense, but I couldn't be there as a father, you know? I hope at the end of all this that you find out that your son still is your son and will always be your son. Uh, Lord, I will always be there. She's no right over here. No English people have any right over here. Now I'm going to stop you. That's absolute bullshit. I will not allow you to incite hatred against English people. 700,000 Irish people are living and working in the UK. If they were all sent back home tomorrow, this nation would sink. They're not welcome. Well then, this conversation's over. Thanks very much indeed. I will not allow people to incite hatred against ordinary, decent, hard-working English, Welsh and Scottish people who are working in this country. That is pathetic. Oh, here, stop. I can't talk to you anymore. I'm sorry. That is just absolutely pathetic. Because I know it's a very difficult thing to... The hardest thing in the world to talk about. Yes, I I can only imagine. Because it's not just because it still hurts. It's not because, you know, I don't... It's not that I don't live with the shame of it every day. I do. And and there are days Mm. when I think about it. I remember that anniversary every year. Every year. You know, and it still hurts me. But, But I know that if I had to go back to 1997 and I was in that same situation, I know that I'd do it again. And I know that's a horrible thing to say and I hate hearing what's up to it. But I won't have to do it again. Personally, I have a collection of uh, daddy long legs. Say that again? Daddy long legs. Oh, you sound like the type. <laughs> you don't mind what, me what, saying what, 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 say what does the type sound like? <laughs> James. Where, where are they like? Oh, they're in a little container and I make like obstacle courses with matchsticks. <laughs> And how many daddy long legs have you got? 17. Yeah, and have any of them died on you? Uh, about seven as well. Oh, that's very sad. I had a bit of a funeral, you know. Have you a woman in your life? I, I do, I do. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, did you find your girlfriend on the web? You, you've already cracked that joke. I just got a text to say that the on O'Connell Street are hiring staff at nine euro an hour. Why would you not apply for that? I wouldn't loan myself. Oh, right. But you'd, you're happy enough to claim the doll for over ten years. Mm-hmm. He's a parasite, you fool. I'm the fool. I'm the one of the many who are keeping you in the life you're accustomed to. I probably blame Clem the doll as well. Know what you're like? You're like a tetsy fly in the scab of a wildebeest of the Serengeti. Go home, home fool. Go home, fool. I am home, you yeah. parasite. Debbie, what did your mum and dad buy you for your 30th birthday? A, a grave. Your mummy and daddy for your 30th birthday bought you a grave? Yeah. Can I ask you a question about your parents, Debbie? Yeah. Have they lost the plot? <laughs> I got a grave. They bought the one next to it and they bought me brother the one beside that. Did you have a party for your 30th? I had a party as well. The party was dead. <laughs> <laughs> so do you now know where you're going to be buried? Yeah. 
It's actually a nice grave and it has a nice view. So when I'm up but there, you be dead. <laughs> I have a daughter, uh, well, she was 13 at the time. She told me then, she was pregnant, I see who you with. She actually told me the father of the child was my 40 year old fiance. And did yeah. that turn out to be true? Yeah, yeah. Now he left me and he's with her now. Like, she's 24 now and she's still with the partner. You're telling me that a 40 year old man had sex with your 13 year old daughter. You let this paedophile away with getting your 13 year old daughter pregnant? She threatened that she'd kill herself and kill the child like if I brought her out in the open. Meanwhile, this man is now living with her. Yeah, they're still together now, yeah. That's the most screwed up story I've ever heard. I know, and she's pregnant again from...